Mr. Thomas, how are you? Head track coach, head football coach, Wayne Stacy, And uh, Wayne, you're a popular man because you coach football, you coach track. And uh, one of your favorite players is to your left right now. This is uh, your daughter, here till eight. Lauren. And yes, it is. Lauren. Lauren, Lauren plays football. We were talking track one day, and you told me that your daughter played football. She does. Uh, she started in, in fifth grade and has continued since then. And most of the time when someone says their daughter plays football, they're thinking about a kicker. Absolutely. Some, something like that. That's right. She, uh, But she wasn't blessed with those skills uh, to kick the football, and and she's always been a strong kid, and she, she just loved football always. And you, you came from Iowa when she had played there, and I, I think you had said that at an early age she did it, and then you thought maybe she'd stop. And right. I, I thought that, you know, there'd be a point where she'd say, oh, I don't really like this, or it's not for me, or uh, maybe, you know, the guys would pass her by, but it seemed like she got better every year, and, and as her understanding of the game grew, she enjoyed it more, and, and she's still uh, doing well. All right, let's hand her the microphone there. To Lauren? Hello. Why didn't you stop? You kept playing. Well, I just kept playing because I loved the game, and I realized that as long as I could keep up with the boys, that it didn't really matter what size I was, as long as I could still push them around, that I could still play. Now, one that you push around is next to you, because this is the boyfriend, right? Yeah. David? Yes, it is. Hammock? Mm -hmm. And he plays on the line? Yes, he does. And he plays next to you? Yes. <laughs> you guys create holes together? <laughs> Pretty much. Now, in practice, though, I want to go back and focus on her, because she's looking <laughs> Thank you. In, in, in practice, uh, you have to go up against one another. Yes. So, day after an argument, how's that work? Uh, well, I guess that we'll just see how that one goes. <laughs> Is it kind of fun though? Because most girls don't get a chance to slap around their boyfriend a little bit, and uh, you get to do it, and Dad gets to watch. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, what Dad wouldn't want that. Well, we'll just, we'll see. There, I've taken a few cheap shots at him, but, like, I don't I don't think if we were just going up against each other in a game, I don't think I could probably push him around. So how long have you two been going out? Um, for about six months. Yeah, and he's withstood all the cheap shots so far, and he's still with you. Yep. <laughs> all right, let's talk to David here. David, you put up with this stuff from her? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what do guys say when, when, when you tell them, all right, my girlfriend plays football, and sometimes in practice I have to block her? Not really. Not really? How do you respond to that? <laughs> he probably just laughs at him. But you're, you're, a, you're a junior, and, and you're a pretty good lineman, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, because the coach told me this. So, I mean, it, it's always good to be on the coach's good side, especially when you date the coach's daughter. Um, you looking forward to next year, uh, getting back on the line? Yes, I am. All right. You looking forward to practice more or the games? Uh, games. Yeah? They're easier. All right. Let's toss it back to Lauren here. Lauren, you're a little bit more talking to David, I know. A little bit. <laughs> Everybody's a little more talking to David. Now, what's the reaction you get when, when you tell folks that, that you play football and, and you're on the offensive line? People just assume, like, whenever I tell people that I play football, they just assume that I'm a kicker or I just stand on the sidelines and they don't realize it until I tell them that I actually play and I'm actually really good at being a lineman. What's the reaction of the opponent when you pancake them? Um, it's like, oh my gosh, I just got hit by a girl. Yeah? Usually. You let them know that too? Yeah. <laughs> you think the ponytail would give it away because I always have my ponytail hanging out the back of my helmet. Yeah. but. No, the big, biggest reaction I see for Lauren is from uh, from little girls who realize that she plays and they say things like, you're the girl who plays football. And she hears that. I think you hear that a lot, don't you? Yes, I and we, do. And, and a lot of the girls, and, you know, and one of the things we always try to tell the girls is that it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. You can do things. If you really want to do them, you're going to work hard enough. And well, they shouldn't let your gender ever hold you back from anything. And it's high school, and they don't have that opportunity. They exactly. As long as she can play the position or any girl, right. And, and that's kind of the promise I'd made Lauren. As long as she could compete with the boys and hold her own and, and be successful, then I wouldn't stand in her way. She could absolutely keep playing. All right, Lauren, tell me about your track skills here. You know, the shot and, and the discus, and, and you're tearing it up. First um, call, all field events. First call, all field events. Coaches, please meet up yeah. in the room for I'll the get coaches it meeting. Um, Please meet up in the hospitality room for the <laughs> coaches meeting. This guy's clearly First ball, all field events. 
<laughs> he, or otherwise, he'd have respect and decline. Okay, uh, shot put, disc, which, which one's better? Um, I'm probably better at disc because usually, usually my skills are better in that, and I'm still working on the shot. And I believe that if I really keep working at it, I can be the best that I can at both events. And those aren't easy events because the, the lay person probably looks at the discus and they think it's a frisbee, and it's far from that. Yeah, I know many people who come up to me and they're like, "Oh, do you throw this as a frisbee? Like, do you throw it like this?" And I'm, I just end up looking at them like they're crazy since I've been doing this for so long. All right, what's Big Dave do here in the track? Shot and disc. Shot and disc. Can you out throw her? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, but a lot. Okay. So you can give it back to her. I just wanted to, wanted to check on that. So he out throws you, so he's got you there, but you can still get him this ball back on the field, right? Yes, I can. <laughs> right. How do the Tigers look in the run game? It's going to be centered around you two, right? Pretty much. Awesome. I feel like um, we can be better this year since the guys last year weren't so comfortable with having a new coach because I know that our senior leaders have had, it, have had it tough having three different coaches in the last four years. So I feel like they'll be more. So I feel like our juniors and sophomores and even our freshmen will be more comfortable having now, him for the last two years you as guys a coach. Create the hole. Is there any chance on a goal line situation would, would Pop give you the rock? What? No. <laughs> You're not getting the ball. The no, unless, I don't think that I would ever have the ball unless we were, unless the score was a hundred to zero. Yeah. Okay, so you're a sophomore. Yes, I am. Two more years of playing football. Mm-hmm. There we go. Lauren Stacy. Talkative Dave. Father Wayne. Wayne Stacy, right? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice work.